इंट्रोडक्शन अजय लुक एट आशीष क्या बट वट इज ई डूइंग इट डज नॉट स्टडी एट ऑल I doubt that he will pass this year. Yes, the probability of his getting passing marks is low. What probability? What is that? Hmm. It means chance. Come, I'll explain you more about probability. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define probability. Find probability. for the given questions write terms used in probability solve examples related to probability definition probability means the quality or state of being probable in case of probability we use the words most probable possible chance doubt might etc for example it may rain today the word may in the sentence shows probability I doubt that he will come. Such words involve uncertainty. Outcome: An outcome is the result of a situation involving uncertainty. Probability: An experimental approach. We can find the experimental probability by repeating an experiment and observing the outcomes. Let's do an experiment. Take any coin, toss it 5 times. Note down the number of times a head and a tail come up and fill the given table then write the fractions first one is number of times a head comes up upon total number of times the coin is tossed and the second one is number of times a tail comes up upon total number of times the coin is tossed as we increase the number of tosses we will find that the values of the fractions come closer to 0.5 Similarly we can do the experiments with a dice or by using two coins or using cards terms used in probability before going further let's learn about basic terms used in probability trial a trial is an action which results in one or several outcome for example each toss of the coin and each throw of the dice are called a trials event An event for an experiment can be defined as the collection of some outcome of the experiment. Experimental or empirical probability is an estimate that an event will happen based on how often the event occurs after performing an experiment in a large number of trials. The experimental or empirical probability that is p e of an event e happening is given by p e is equal to number of trials in which the event happened upon the total number of trials example of probability example a coin is tossed 500 times with the following frequencies head 245 tail 255 compute the probability for each event solution since the coin is tossed 500 times so the total number of trials is 500 The number of times event E happens that is the number of times a head comes up is 245 so the probability of E is equal to number of heads upon total number of trials that is P E is equal to 245 upon 500 is equal to 0.49 similarly the probability of the event of getting a tail is equal to number of tail upon total number of trials that is P F is equal to 255 upon 500 is equal to 0.51. We can see that P E plus P F is equal to 0.49 plus 0.51 is equal to 1, and E and F are the only two possible outcomes of each trial. Example: A spinner has four equal sectors colored yellow, blue, green, and red. after spinning the spinner what is the probability of landing on each color solution the possible outcomes of this experiment are yellow blue green and red now let's find the probabilities probability of landing yellow is number of ways to land on yellow by total number of colors that is equal to 1 by 4 Probability of landing blue is number of ways to land on blue by total number of colors that is equal to 1 by 
Similarly, we will find the probability for green and red. And if we add all these probabilities, we will get 1. A single six-sided dice is rolled. What is the probability of each outcome? What is the probability of rolling an even number and rolling an odd number? The possible outcomes of this experiment are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now let's find probabilities. Probability of 1 is number of ways to roll a 1 by total number of sides is equal to 1 by 6. Probability of 2 is number of ways to roll a 2 by total number of sides is equal to 1 by 6. Similarly, the probability of 3 is number of ways to roll a 3 by total number of sides is equal to 1 by 6. In the same way, we will find the probabilities of 4, 5 and 6. Now we can see that the way to roll even numbers is 3. We can find the probability as P even is equal to number of ways to roll an even number upon total number of sides, which is equal to 3 upon 6, which is 1 upon 2. And way to roll odd number is 3. So the probability is P odd is equal to number of ways to roll an odd number upon total number of sides, which is equal to 3 upon 6, which is 1 upon 2. Did you know? The concept of probability developed in a very strange manner. In 1654, a gambler, Chevalier de Mer, approached the well-known 17th century French philosopher and mathematician, Blaise Pascal, regarding certain dice problems. Pascal became interested in these problems, studied them and discussed them with another French mathematician, Pere de Fermat. Both Pascal and Fermat solved the problems independently. This work was the beginning of probability theory. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. An event for an experiment is the collection of some outcomes of the experiment. The empirical or experimental probability P E of an event E is given by P E is equal to number of trials in which E has happened upon total number of trials. The sum of all the probabilities is 1.